Fox News alert, President Trump pardoning a former Army lieutenant who was convicted in 2009 of killing an Iraqi prisoner suspected of being an al-Qaeda terrorist. Luca Tomlinson has more from the Pentagon. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Julia. Military court had sentenced former Army First Lieutenant Michael Bahena to 25 years in prison for unpremeditated murder in Iraq. But the Army's highest appellate court later expressed concern how the trial had handled his claim of self-defense. In a statement announcing the full pardon, Press Secretary Sander, Sarah Sanders said, quote, Mr. Bahena's case has attracted broad support from the military, Oklahoma elected officials, and the public. Thirty-seven generals and admirals, along with a former inspector general of the Department of Defense, signed a brief in support of Mr. Bahena's claims or self-defense claim. During his trial, Bahena acknowledged not transferring an al-Qaeda prisoner to an ordered destination, but instead took the man to a railroad culvert, stripped him, and questioned him at gunpoint about a roadside bombing that killed two members of his platoon. Bahena was 24 at the time and claims he acted in self-defense when the prisoner threw a chunk of concrete at him and reached for his weapon. That's when the U.S. Army officer killed him. The full pardon came hours after President Trump hosted the West Point football team at the White House. An Army parole board had reduced his sentence to 15 years and later paroled him just five years later. Oklahoma's Republican state attorney general applauded the president's decision, quote, First Lieutenant Bahena served his country with distinction, honor, and sacrifice. He has admitted to his mistakes, has learned from them, and deserves to move on from this incident. Bahena told a local TV station he is grateful for President Trump's act of mercy, Julie. All right, Lucas Tomlinson, thank you very much.